Hello everybody, Richard Dick Coffin here. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And um, I just only just wanted to sort of have a final word because this whole religion, mental illness thing has been dying down. It'll pop up again in six months' time. But there's just a few things I wanted to address. Uh, number one is um, the guy who kind of kicked all this off again, Live Life. And Live Life, you and I have spoken privately and plenty of times on blog TV and I think we respect each other but your whole backtracking on this you know, for those who don't know Live Life made a series Religion is a Mental Illness blah blah and he then retracted his statement he made a public apology retracting everything he said but then you go and like and favourite a video called Religion is a Mental Illness by a user called Deity 3 d how, how how are we supposed to, at any point now, take anything you say seriously ever again? I know there are lots of people who didn't already, but when you come out and say something, and then you retract it and apologise, and then you go back into it again a week later, you've now made... Now, it's not just people, it's not just people who disagree with you in it originally, it's now people who agreed with you. How are we supposed to take anything you say with any credence or value whatsoever? Because you've, you've, you've shown yourself now to be someone who just says whatever he's got to say to stop getting in trouble. Oops. Which is something you seem to do a lot on here. You know? And you complain that people are taking your words out of context or or misunderstanding you. You know, when someone gets misunderstood once in a while, that's one thing. But it seems to happen to you all the time, mate. And that suggests that either you need to clarify, you need to speak clearer, or you need to think about what your actual position is, right, and use better language. Deity 3D. This woman made an argument about a uh, fucking... She made a video called Religion is a Mental Illness, and then she suddenly backtracked again, like all other people, saying, yes, I think religion and schizophrenia are similar, because she had a mother who was schizophrenic and religious, and she did, she felt her mother did. I mean, bad, bad, bad luck for you, that's not an argument. And then you go and then you get a video made to you by Schizophrenic Queen, who, as her name suggests, is schizophrenic, and you send her a PM, which she just shared on her Facebook, saying that you think she's off her meds and the last thing you need, um, and you get enough trouble from theists, and you get attacked enough from theists, you don't need, as you put, mentally fucked up atheists coming after you too. You know what? Fuck you. All right? And then you get atheism defended. Making the same arguments again. Again, using arguments from false authority, like everyone in this argument I've seen has done. Using nothing but your own personal opinion, or which is of value to no fucker. And then he, Atheism Defended says to Rith Randell, Unseen Perfidy, he says to him that he can't be objective on the subject of mental illness because he's bipolar. So he's got a mental illness, so he can't comment on it. You know, and fuck it, just seriously, all you fuckers making this argument, just fuck you. Fuck all of you for your fucking, this pathetic, stigmatising fucking crusade you're on. Because that's all you're achieving. You're just alienating everyone from yourself. You're achieving nothing. You're achieving nothing and you're fucking alienating anybody from who's, who's, who's part. You know, just think about it, you might not have a mental illness. But you don't seem to understand there are people out there who are atheists who do, who might have been on your fucking side, who might have supported you, and now you've just stigmatised them by calling, by referring to them and saying that what they have is exactly like what religious people are. Think about that for a second. You're, a rel you're an atheist with a mental illness of some description. Right, you might be bipolar, you might be schizophrenic, you might have you know, any other number of uh, personality issues or whatever, but... You're now being that you're telling them that what they have is exactly the same as a religious person. So fuck all of you. Seriously, fuck off. 
and die. Richard the Dick Coughlin. Good night and go fuck yourself. <laughs>